others as well. Because though majority of the sneakers that I own are Nike, I do have other pair and I have made so many videos on my Nike shoes that I have run out. So, and I am in college, so I do not have the money to continue to buy Nike sneakers when I have other sneakers that I own. So, I am in the process of changing all of that. I haven't changed it because I'm still looking for like ideas and different ways that I want to change it up. So, just bear with me on that. But normally what I do is I like kind of give my review on this shoe and kind of show you what it looks like while softly talking to you. And towards the very end of my video, I give a positive affirmation, so stay to the end for that see what I have for today. I try extremely hard not to edit my videos because I want you to see like the raw of me and my mistakes. Sometimes I stutter, sometimes I take long pauses, sometimes I don't say something correctly, I don't know. And um, I'm all about just showing you who I really am, flaws and all. So that's basically what this channel is about, me and my shoes. And I really, really enjoy talking to you and meeting new people and just being positive and happy. So that's what this channel is all about. Move my microphone closer. Sorry, I was just like loving on my dog and now I think I have like all her fur on my face. I'm like trying to wipe it off. Sorry. And if you want to see what my dog looks like, if you go to the video before this one, you'll see her. She she uh, made an appearance. With that being said, these are some really, really cool Huka shoes. I think I'm going to buy myself a pair of Huka. These are not mine, these are my mom's. so lightweight. They're mesh. So it look I mean, they're, that obviously means that they're breathable. Challenger ATA4. I don't know what that means, but um, I've heard nothing but good things about, about the hookahs. So, I mean, decent cushion. Cushion to get you, get you going. seems like pretty good cushion. I don't know. And then the uh, elasticities, I say it for the, for the laces, I think is, and, um, is amazing. And then like me just looking down inside the shoe, you can see like, I, I don't want to say like a wave, but basically you can see that they have the inserts um, to like fit your foot, your arch. It's not just, you know, it, it seems like they made some good amount of effort to make the insole to fit your foot right. Because I can see some like curves, which is, in my opinion, rare. Um, some people just stick an insole, an insert in there, or an insert, whatever. But my computer, I keep it in. Anyway, that's so cool. Really cool. I like the color. I don't really, I'm not digging this dark purple, but I do like the teal or aqua or whatever color this is. And the gray. They have. Um, let's just. Okay, let's start from the. 
so there's the front. Here's the right side.
caution. Sorry. so much 
so much more resilient than you allow it to be. And your brain is supposed is like your safety net. It's telling you stop, stop, stop. But in reality, your body could literally keep going. You have to trick your mind. You have to in order to push your limits. Now don't be like extreme, you know, but if you're um, let's say if you're you want to become a, an avid reader and you're like, okay, 15 minutes is is the amount that I read. No. You know, do 20 minutes, do an extra five minutes. Push yourself. Or I'm only going to give myself two hours to study. Do two hours and ten minutes. You know how much more you could have gotten done. Or if you're a runner like I am. And you're like, and you had in your mind, okay, I'm only going to run two miles. No, run 2.5 miles. Push yourself. Let your mind get the best of you. Or, you know, I really like this guy. I keep seeing him. He looks at me. I look at him. Go up to him. Don't wait. You know, that relationship may turn into a romantic relationship. Or it may be oh, turn into a friendship. Maybe that relationship that y'all keep making eye contact was because y'all were supposed to, y'all were supposed to be friends, best friends. Hell, you don't know until you try. There's another mistake that I made yesterday. Um, my daughter's school was having a like a, an adult gathering. Not uh, that that didn't sound right. Like a um, like no kids allowed. Like go to a really cool Austin bar um, and have like food and adult beverages and just kind of like mingle with other parents. And since I'm a single parent, it's just me. And I got cold feet and I didn't, number one, the ticket to, to attend would have benefited my daughter's school, right? And then that would have gotten me out of the house and socialized with other people, which is something that I just told you at the beginning of this video that I like to do. And then, yeah, just mingling. I, th I thought there was going to be a third one. Well, I guess like eating free food. I didn't have dinner last night. If I would have gone, I would have had free dinner. You know what I mean? So, I got cold feet. I was like, I'm not going to go. I don't know these people. My daughter just started at this school this year. So I know nobody. Um, and I should have gone. There, There is a group chat with my, with the other parents that are in my daughter's, my daughter's classmates' parents. We have a group chat. And we, it just started this week, actually, that, like, group chat thingy. And turns out that, like, a good chunk, like, seven other parents were gonna go. And they may not be single parents. They may be, like, a mom and a dad. Um, but they were gonna go. And that could have been my opportunity to get to know who, who my daughter's classmates' parents are. And that could have led to playdates and, you know, maybe long-term friendships if we continue to keep our kids in the same school. You know what I mean? So just lost opportunity. But my my mind was like, safety zone, nope. That's past your, your comfort zone. Don't do it, don't do it. And I didn't do it. And I should have. Because I didn't know that these parents were going to go, were going to go until it was too late. You know, pushing your limit is okay. Just a little bit. Don't I, don't take my words as extreme. Don't go to the extreme, but little by little.
push your limits, see how far you can go. The worst that could have happened was I felt uncomfortable. I didn't, nobody talked to me and I leave. Simple as that. You know, or yesterday I should have taken more time to prepare my body to go to that, for that run. And honestly, those two things that, those two mistakes that I made ruined the rest of my, my evening yesterday. I didn't play with my daughter like she wanted to, you know. I didn't eat dinner. I drank two glasses of wine and watched uh, Dahmer on Netflix, you know, when I would have rather spent time with my daughter. It's like little things like that. So, recognize, you know, your mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to fail, but move forward. Recognize them and change. That's my positive affirmation for today. It's just, do better. Be better. You deserve that. You really do. Because you got one life, and that's it. One life. One Monday, one Tuesday, one Wednesday, one Thursday of each week. And that's freaking it. Please make good choices. Stay positive. Remember that your feelings are valid. You are important and you mean something to somebody. I promise you, you do. I promise. Take care of yourself and I will see you in the next video.